The start of the new year brought with it changes to alcohol laws in the state. Our Maddie Himes visited local wineries to get caught up on the changes. The new laws include extended operating hours, the sale of other alcohols, and an opportunity to open new locations. Wisconsin winery owners tell me they're excited to see their businesses grow. It expands the opportunities we have for the business as a whole. Amanda Steffel founded and owns Timber Hill Winery in Milton. She said she's excited to host more events in her facility with the legal closing time extended from 9 p.m. to 2 a.m. The Winery Association has been working really hard to get some of these changes made. It's really been a long time coming. One of the changes that's been in the works is the ability to serve a variety of products and alcohols outside of wine. Ryan Prelwitz, vice president of the Wisconsin Winery Association, Association looks forward to taking advantage of a larger menu. We'll have the ability to serve the full spectrum of products and to do a better job of uh, uh, providing what the consumer is ultimately looking for from a product perspective. In his position as Vice President, Prelwitz has had a role in drafting and proposing these new agreements. He told me they're the biggest changes in alcohol legislation since Prohibition. He says the investment into the wine industry is an investment in local economies and Wisconsin agriculture. And so I'm really looking forward to seeing what that economic impact really does for the state. Both Steffel and Prelwitz said they're sure all wineries will implement the changes differently. But whether they'll stay open until 9 or 2, there is business opportunity like never before. Reporting in Rock County, I'm Maddie Heimsch, News 3 Now.